such a concept of using these tablet doctors in schools and classrooms reduces the teachers or school administration's time and effort dedicated to addressing technical issues. Technical issues will happen. You may have the know-how. You may have the human resource to deal with it. You may not. But when you have these students who are good at it and you know they are good at it and you can use them, it reduces the pressure on a school administration. This is peer collaboration and it succeeds in keeping students invested where other attempts has failed. Because students realize they are needed by the school. They want to improve, they want to do better, they want to work and show the school administration, show the teacher that they have the capability of fixing these things. Let them do it. It takes the burden off the teacher, it takes the burden off the school administration and the students are more than happy to do it. Even if you keep them after school, you collect these gadgets or tablets that are malfunctioning, ask students to stay for 20-30 minutes after school to fix them. You don't have to get students out of their classes, make them miss their learning, but you can do it at their own time after school hours. It's a good way to invest in human resource that we have, which is our students, and we truly don't use our students in the right ways that we should. The role of teachers in the efficacy of educational technology is invaluable as they hold the key to unlocking the many benefits to students discussed earlier. As I said earlier, it's the teacher's role. It's what the teacher does in the classroom that is paramount. Whether it is a traditional classroom, whether it is a technology-driven classroom, or it is a technology-enabled classroom. It is the teacher that holds the key to unlock what the benefits to students should be. That is why, because the teacher knows the students best. The teacher is the individual who decides what gadgetry or instrument to use, what software to use, how long to use it, is a flipped classroom an option, how much free time should students have, how much time and work should be assigned to students outside the class. Teachers must, however, also understand. I'm teaching one course. The student may have three, four, five other courses. How much outside classroom work am I assigning, even if it is virtual, even if it's technology-driven and technology-enabled? Because when five different teachers for five different courses a student is enrolled in expects so much too much out-of-class work, it is going to burden the students and the students will give up on that. So teachers using technology-enabled education should get together, especially those teachers that teach the same students and figure out how much work, normally about two hours of work per every other day is what is a good recommendation to use for out-of-class work. Of course, if a student wants to put in more, there are no issues. Then, of course, you have the weekend. But again, remember, a student also has a personal life and a social life other than an academic life. And we need to make sure that our students enjoy their other lives as well. And we cannot bulldoze them into putting all their free time into academic work. Therefore, it behooves teachers to avail themselves of the benefits of educational technology. What this means is, it is the teacher's responsibility first to learn, understand, and experience the technology they are putting their students through. Because if a student has questions or concerns and the teacher is not able to address them, it is not going to look good in front of the student. So teachers must seek out opportunities today to learn the new technology. And a lot of technology I learn from my students. I sit with them and I ask them to help me, to explain to me, to take me through the steps of how this happens. I learn from my students. Other teachers should also learn from their students. They are so good at it. And when you know, and when a student can say, I taught my teacher this, it's a wonderful boost 
for the teach for the student's self esteem and the teacher performs better with the student and the student performs better with the teacher